Welcome to Tech Photo Blog. This is episode number 22. This week I'm going to be talking about a photo booth that I'm setting up at my wedding in a few weeks. So I looked online and you know there were a bunch of people who would uh, be willing to rent these to me but the renting costs were actually pretty high and I decided I could hack one together for a lot less money and you know it's sort of something cool to talk about at the wedding if you've made your own photo booth. So it's a very simple process actually. Uh, what I ended up doing was I bought this um, Canon printer and I'll, I'll put a link to it uh, in the show notes but it's like 60 bucks. I had a laptop sitting around. Um, I bought a, I think it was a $40 webcam uh, to take the photo and uh, then I made this uh, plywood box with a red button. And if you open it up like this all that's on the inside is the red button and then this is an old mouse I had sitting around and I basically just hacked it so that the left mouse button went to this big button. You know, it's just two wires going to the uh, PCB. It was pretty trivial. Just set it up to use this red button just so that, you know, some of the less technology advanced people weren't confused by hitting the mouse button or by hitting a keyboard space bar or something I figured this would be you know as simple as you can get it just says hit the big red button and you know it also looks a little bit nicer this way I think uh, the last thing I did was I bought a seven dollar lamp from uh, Home Depot and that's just because I figured the lighting would be bad there so I wanted to um, have a way of having a bit more control over the lighting. And then of course there's going to be a, a backdrop and a, a wall here. It's just going to be some PVC tubing and a little bit of uh, cloth that we have sitting around. Uh, I think it'll uh, work out pretty well. Let me uh, show you the software I'm using. So uh, it's this Spark Booth software. It's uh, something like 50 bucks. I think it might have been um, just about the most expensive, except for maybe the printer uh, component. Actually, I think it might be 60 bucks. But uh, I looked at some uh, free software, and it was a, wasn't as nice, and it was a bit more complicated to set up. So I decided to just you know buy the software and. Um, there were a few things I did to customize it. Um, I put our names here. I um, set up a special uh, background so that when it prints the uh, photo booth pictures, it'll have, you know, a just it'll say that it's our wedding and, and things like that. Uh, turned out pretty well. So uh, setting up that Spark Booth software was, you know, really pretty easy. It took me maybe an hour or something, including the time to set up the custom backgrounds and customizing the software a little bit. Whoops, let's full screen that. And you can lock it all down so that people aren't accidentally changing it during the wedding if they were to remove this box and start typing on the keyboard or something. So I'll probably, you know, lock it and then they'll have to enter a password in order to exit this app which um, I think is a you know, nice feature. It makes it as simple and foolproof as is possible. So the way it's gonna work at the wedding is you've just got this set up here, you've got the printer there, and all people will have to do is hit this button. Welcome to Post Portable, get ready. Now it's starting to print. It's displaying things onto the screen. While it's printing to keep people interested, the printer takes about 45 seconds to make a print. Thanks for visiting and as you can see, it had those uh, voice prompts throughout the whole uh, process. 
so that people you know know what's happening and um, it's kind of a painless process it'll take about I figure two minutes or so for people to get their photos made it also will save all of the photos taken to the uh, hard drive of this computer so after the wedding we'll have digital copies of all of these pictures at a higher resolution uh, which is pretty awesome I think that you know those will be some of the really memorable pictures and we're totally going to try to get everybody to get into the photo booth and, and take those photos and once it's done printing you've got something like this you just break these seams off And they've got their own little uh, memorial of the wedding. Thanks for watching.